At Clearwater Music, we have a bunch of stray trombone bells up on the wall, a lot of them being con directors. Some like this, but also some like this. And when I saw a few copper bells up on the wall, I figured it might be a fun exercise in material composition to see how these two stack up. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to turn on the mic to my right, and we're basically just going to play back and forth on the yellow brass and on the copper and see how the sound quality compares. We have here an interesting case of Theseus's hammer, if you will, because this is a Con 14H trombone. It's your standard Con director, all yellow brass, all yellow lacquer. So the instrument is more or less the same color throughout, besides the spots where there was some poor repairmanship done. Gee, I wonder who was responsible for that. But if, for demonstration purposes, we dismount this bell here, and instead we put on this bell section, we actually have an 18H trombone. The 14 and 18H are identical, save for the presence of a 100% copper bell, rather than the standard brass, which is 70% copper and 30% zinc. In theory, although I'll let you be the judge, and I certainly need to mull these recordings over for a while, the more copper you add to brass, the warmer sounding it becomes, so by the time you get to fully copper, that's about as extreme as you can get. So basically, this should produce a warmer sound than this, and we'll see if that was actually the case. I've prepared two excerpts today, one obviously being a much more lyrical and mellow one to hopefully display the differences in tonal qualities between the two and see if the copper has a little bit more tonal potential in the softer dynamics, but then I figured it wouldn't be fair unless we played something a little bit louder and brighter sounding, just to see if that copper might also hinder a little bit of that traditional balls to the wall like metal or ska trombone sound. Hey y'all, it's Sam from a few months later, aka The Present, here, and I just wanted to clear the air a little bit. I originally intended to release this video in conjunction with a review of the Con 14H trombone, which I have, of course, filmed the playing portion of, but not the speaking portion of. I know, who's surprised at this point? This is typical Sam behavior. But I wanted to get this one out as quickly as possible because very soon we're going to be starting a new series on the channel. And this video is going to serve a little bit of a different interest. It's going to assist some points I'm making in this new series. So be on the lookout for that. That's going to start this Friday, and there are going to be a number of videos coming up very soon. In the meantime, check to make sure you're actually subscribed to the Samuel Plays Brass channel, unlike the vast majority of my viewers. If you happen to be in that vast majority, no pressure, but subscribing is a small gesture with a huge impact on the channel, and we'll keep you up to date as we start to roll out this new series. Until next time, we'll see you on the flip side. Thanks for watching everybody. If you want to support the creation of bigger and better content on the Samuel Plays Brass channel, have your name featured right here, and a whole host of other perks and benefits, then please consider pledging your support at patreon.com slash samuelplaysbrass. For now, you can find more videos in the end screen cards to my left.